We are going to learn how to play Subtraction War. This game is great at helping students build fluency in their subtraction facts up to 10, um, which is really good for building fluency in um, larger numbers once I've got that base knowledge. So the first thing that we're going to do is divide our deck into two so that each player's got the same amount of cards. And then we're going to take turns flipping over two cards and taking away the smaller number from the bigger number. So this person's got 11, take away one. So they could use lots of strategies to solve this. They might just cover up one of the dots and count how many is left. They might uh, use a whiteboard drawing 11 dots, see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then rubbing one off, or they might use a strategy like counters. So this person's answer is 10. The next person then flips over their cards, and they have got 12, take away 7. So they might choose to use some counters to solve their problem. So they've counted out 12 counters and then take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and our answer is 5 left. The idea of this game is that eventually students would be able to solve these problems without having to use a strategy but up until that point using a strategy is a great way to help build that fluency. So now we're going to look at our answers. This person ended up with 10, this person ended up with 5. So the winner of this round is the one with the highest number, so this person won this round and gets to keep all of the cards. And they would record their score as one round that they've won. Then we would go again. So this person's got 13 and 5. This person has got 7 and 8. So this person might use the strategy of covering up 5 of the dots and then counting the remainder, ending up with 8. And this person might already know the answer in their head. 8 take away 7, super easy is 1. So again, this person has 1. 8 is bigger than 1. So this person gets to take all of the cards and put them into their winning pile. 